Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Nitin Singh and I am MDS in Operative and Endodontics. Today I will be discussing with you a very important topic by name Dental Casting Defects. This topic is important from dental material point of view as well as operative point of view. So this topic is important for BDS first year as well as for final year and even this topic is important from your MDS entrance point of view as well. So let's discuss with this topic. So, so let's discuss with this topic. So for the understanding of the casting defects, first we need to understand what is the various steps which are involved in your casting procedure. In detail about the casting procedure, I'll be discussing in my future classes. Today, I'll be discussing in short about this casting procedure. So the first step in the casting procedure so the first step in the casting procedure is the formation of wax pattern on the tie or directly onto the tooth. And after the formation of the wax pattern, a sprue is attached to the wax pattern at the 45 degree angulation. And then the wax pattern and the sprue are invested in the gypsum or phosphate bonded investor material depending on the kind of alloy which we will be using for the casting. And then the wax pattern is invested and then the pattern is heated until all remnant of wax are burned away and then molten metal is cast into the void created by the wax pattern and the sprue and then the casting is quenched and pickled and finally finished and polished so these are the steps which are involved in your casting procedure so casting defects occur if there is any error in the particular procedure or during the transition from the first step to the any other step. So the understanding of the casting procedure is very, very important if you want to understand the casting defects. So, though, so the NSF is classifies the casting defects into five types. The first one is the distortion of the casting. Second one is the surface roughness and irregularities of the casting. Third one is the presence of porosities, either internal or external porosities. Fourth one is incomplete casting or missing details. Fifth one is the discoloration of the casting because of the formation of sulfur compound on the casting. So about your distortion. So distortion can happen because of two reasons. First because of this, second because of this. So what is the first reason? Some distortion of the wax pattern occurs as the investment hardens around it or due to hygroscopic and setting expansion. So while doing expansion, maybe either hygroscopic or which happens normally during the setting, it will result in the distortion of the wax pattern. So the resultant casting will also be a bit distorted. However, this is not a serious thing because very minimal amount of distortion can occur because of this thing. The more, the more serious one is when the wax pattern is distortion to, to when the wax pattern is distorted to a higher amount, which can happen due to the manipulation and because of release of stresses of the inlay wax. We all know coefficient of thermal expansion of the inlay wax is nearly 400. So it has a, such a high amount of coefficient of thermal expansion. So if we extend more amount of time between the fabrication of the wax pattern and doing the investing, it can result in the distortion of the wax pattern. So it is always said that as soon as you form the wax pattern, immediately invest it. So this distortion can be minimized by manipulation of wax at higher temperature, investing pattern within one hour after finishing, and if storage is necessary, store in a refrigerator. Next defect is surface roughness and irregularities. Let's discuss what the surface roughness is. We can right now see the surface is quite a bit rough. So the definition is it is defined as relatively fine space surface imperfection whose height, width and direction establish the predominant surface pattern. So throughout the surface is what a bit rough. This can happen if the investment material is not properly mixed or the investment material has a quite a grainy consistency. 
next one is your surface irregularities right now in this photograph what you can see a small nodule this is what your surface imperfection so the definition is surface so next is your surface irregularities surface irregularities are isolated imperfections such as nodules that are not characteristic of the entire surface area what you can see right now in this photograph a small nodule this is what your surface irregularity so surface irregularity is a localized phenomena whereas surface imperfections so surface irregularities are isolated imperfection such as nodules that are not characteristic of the entire surface area right now in this photograph what you can see a small nodule and this nodule is located to a particular surface it is not a generalized phenomena so surface irregularity is a localized phenomena whereas surface roughness is a generalized phenomena this surface irregularity can happen because of the incorporation of any air bubble or because of even formation of water films as well so this was the very brief discussion of the topic dental casting defects in my detailed class i will be talking in depth about these points as well as about the porosities which is the most important part of your dental casting defects these kinds of detailed classes we regularly conduct on daily basis so if you have liked my today's class please join us our daily classes in which we'll be talking in depth really in depth about the particular topic which will help you to write any mcq in your mda sentence or even to write short notes even to write even short notes or long notes on any topic like today's topic dental casting defects so if for any query please do contact us on the number given below so thank you from head dental academy goodbye